Well, it's a production full of music and soul and the backstory linking dozens of female recording artists. Two's got your ticket. Here's entertainment reporter Vince Girasoli. Women of Soul pays tribute to the voices who gave several generations the soundtrack of their lives. Aretha Franklin definitely was one, and you can put others like Diana Ross and Dionne Warwick on that list too. But Women of Soul playing at the Mercury Theater Chicago also reveals what it took for these powerhouse performers to succeed in a male-dominated industry. We spoke with writer-director Daryl Brooks. Donna Summer, Gladys Knight, Dionne Warwick. Uh, were you worried about leaving someone out? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. They, they are some of my favorite artists. Daryl, ultimately, what's the message you hope to get across? These women paved the way and they deserve to be respected. And this just scratches the surface. People don't know just what they had to go through to get to where they were. It wasn't as easy for them as it was for a lot of their male counterparts. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Around the door. We look at Big Mama Thornton. You know what I mean? People today probably don't know who Big Mama Thornton is. That, but they don't know that's where Hound Dog came from. But when I Mahalia Jackson, they were trying to force her to sing secular music so she could be more popular. And she said, no, I don't have to. How did it feel as a band to tell the story of so many women? Thinking about it, even for me writing this show, I had to ask a lot of people, you know, it was it okay if I wrote it? Okay, you're dressed as Donna Summer, but you bring a whole list of heavy hitters to life. Is there one that speaks to you more than the others? Oh, goodness. Everyone speaks to me in, in different ways. We had a chance to speak with Daryl, the writer and the director, and he said he was very appreciative of the rapport he had with each and every one of the actresses because you helped him keep the script, keep the production real. I thought it was a very realistic process. What I enjoyed about working with Daryl on this show is allowing the women to speak and be heard, which isn't always the case working um, a lot in this industry. And that is what I try to push in the show. It's not just how they sang, but how they live their lives that makes them Women of Soul. All that, plus you might want to get up and dance too. Women of Soul is playing at the Mercury Theater Chicago through March 6th. Remember, two's got your ticket. I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.